All right, here we are, guys. Got the beginnings of the tree house right here. 12 foot, 12 foot boards right there, guys. So this is gonna be it. It's gonna be the start. I already got the four by fours in the ground. And after that, I will start adding the framing and the platform. Then after that, we'll add the walls and the roof. And as you've seen in the previous pictures, you can see where I started. That was at uh, Home Depot. And uh, maybe a picture of it without the tree here. Without the tree house here. So there it is. Right there, starting out. So uh, let me show you what I'm doing. The floor is going to be this right here. It's uh, one by one by six. It's actually like one by uh, five and a half. But that's going to be the floor going across. And I was at the at Home Depot earlier, and I found uh, some storm windows that'll be perfect. Thirty-seven dollars. They're a nice size. So I'm going to get some of those to put in it. But this is where I'm at so far. I've got these supports here. Got two supports on that one. And I've got to add one to there. And then they got to do this one. But I got uh, two by sixes up here for the joists. I use these uh, joist hangers. And they seem to be real solid. There's a couple of them right here. And what I did was uh, I just put the bolts on the two sides right here and not on that side and then over here on this side I've got them screwed in on all four so I just set the one end of the board in, here, in the other side and then I bring it over here and wedge it down in here because it took me a while to figure out a system but it goes in quickest that way and then afterwards you go back and bolt the other side up and they're real solid I mean I'm gonna put some little joist things across here just to keep these from wobbling, little supports like in different areas. And, uh, and I'll get these crossbars on here. And by the time it's done, this part right here that we're looking at, the front four feet, probably like to, about to here, will be the front porch. And over here is gonna be where the steps go down. This right here is just what I used at the beginning when I set it up to keep the boards from warping. And uh, so it's 10 feet across this way that we're looking right here. From there to there is 10 feet. And then from there to there is 12 feet. And so the, five, the extra four feet right here is going to be the porch. I'll put a nice railing up there and the steps going down. So the actual size of it's gonna be, uh, interior is gonna be 10 by eight, 10 feet by eight feet. And I'll put some storm windows in it, but I think it'll be pretty, pretty cool for the kids. And uh, maybe set up a spot up so you can put a hammock in here or even hang the hammocks underneath. There's kind of the fittings right here. And it's pretty solid. I've got uh, like this side right here where I've got this one and this one. I mean, this thing, it doesn't budge at all hardly. Except for these top joists, they wobble a little bit till I get those stabilized. And uh, got a new little saw right here. This thing works great. It's got a little laser. And I use that to, just to do my cuts with. And uh, that's it. Just wanted to share this with you where I'm at right now on this. I've got four more, four more joists to put in here. And then I'm going to go on to the full, to the putting the floorboards down. And after that, I'll go to the wall, start building the walls. I think we're going to put a tin roof, put a tin roof up on top of it. And I'm trying to decide if I want to seal it off or just leave a little gap for some airflow, because it's not gonna be air conditioned. I don't wanna be too hot in the summer. So I wanna figure that out, we'll see. But uh, anyway, I'll keep you updated as we go along.
after I get done with all getting all these up I'm gonna go back along all these joists and put two of two of these one here and one here and then I'm gonna nail that in as well that'll really make this real solid so it won't move right here I got the four by fours and what I did was I dug a 24 inch hole with a post hole digger and I've got uh, one ba half a bag of 80 pound cement in each of these holes there's one here and here and you can see how solid that is it's part of a rock so it's not going anywhere so I wanted to tell you about that if you want, decide you want to build your own tree house you get those in first And made another trip to uh, Home Depot. Truck doesn't start, so I want to share this with you. Doing what you got to do here. Got uh, got some more flooring and got some 12 foot uh, two by fours to finish my braces and to finish the um, the, the the framing to hold support the floor. And then in here, I got a 4x4 that I'm going to use to support the, the ground uh, in the middle. I'm going to put it in the ground in the middle of the um, underneath and, and attach to the floor. So it'll make that floor real solid. It's pretty solid right now, but I figure it'll be more solid with, with that 4x4 right in the middle going up to the floor. It'll be as solid as a rock then. And uh, I got some two by sixes right here for the um, for the ladder that I'm going to make. So uh, I just wanted to share this with you. How much stuff actually fit in this little car? And I uh, used my little carabiner here, figure nine, to tighten the trunk up. Worked great. And uh, so I'll show you a little bit more once I get things going. Add a little dirt to it. Okay, now that in there. Okay. We have plenty of room to get our cement in here. There we go. Okay. Let's make sure it's good and level. There. Let's, see, let's do this. The bottom. Okay. That's perfect. 
perfect. This side. There we go. There, there. Now, set the cement. Little view of it from afar. Go back here. Right, there she is so far guys. What I'm gonna do on these ends right here is I'm gonna add two by fours right here, Just tighten this up and fill that gap and then I'll have a good two and a half inches right here for my wall. That way the floor will be about an inch up from where the wall comes down. So we should have to worry about any water getting in. So that's uh, the way I'm gonna do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put these braces up on the other corners and I'll check in with you in a little while. Um, I've got three walls done. I'm going to get ready to drill together um, this wall, the third wall here. And uh, I just wanted to, now I'm by no means a professional, but I just wanted to share a couple ideas with you. Um, just, if you had to happen to make a tree house and you uh, are having to duplicate any walls, that this is how I did it. Maybe it'll save time. It might even be a quicker way, but I wanted to share this way that I did it. Um, we've got uh, the bottom one. You can see here. I've got two two walls here, one on top of the other, and um, this one is screwed together on the bottom. And so I just laid that bottom wall down. I just laid that wall on the ground, took my measurements off of that and made all my cuts. And so now what I've got is two, two walls that are exactly the same. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm gonna put the two windows in those squares right there. And here's the windows over here. Right there's the window. I got two of those. They're uh, storm windows. So I'm gonna put those in after I get it up on there. So uh, that gives me a total of three walls done right now. I'm gonna make the front one. I think I'm just gonna make the door out of cedar and uh, just make it a simple door out of cedar, kind of like a gate type thing. But I'll try and get it as sealed as, as good as I can. So I've just been cutting out here on that saw there. And uh, so that's where I'm at right now. Got one more wall to do, and then we're gonna put the walls up. Talk to you soon. Oh. I need to do this first, actually. go all right here we are uh, you can see the, the uh, tree house fort whatever you want to call it in the background so you can see where I've uh, where I've where I'm at right now I basically have got everything supported out pretty well and I went ahead and added another center column here 
and so I've got it pretty well braced out and there she is right there I've got the um, roof is on and that was kind of a job I had to build some ladders on the outside of it so I could get up there to put the screws in and fortunately I figured out that the the head on the screws that go in there fit right into that stop sign shape on the drill I'm not sure what, what you call it but I just put the screw right on that and I was able to just put the drill up and just because the last piece that last piece on the edge was the hardest part I was able to use a ladder all the way through here till I got to that edge and I've got it a little bit of an overhang all the way around I got a little brace up there you can see holding it up in the middle so I've got a little bit of over on each side you can see right here that side seems to be pretty good just the way it is so I haven't braced that out yet let me show you how I how I uh, put the, the I got the support on the top of the metal roof in the front I just uh, right here if you, as you can if you can see it right there I just screwed uh, some treated a treated 2 by 4 coming out and I've got some overlap there to support that edge that corner and I sc just screwed it in there and it comes right down and I got it right there and it goes over too to hold that corner up and you can see right here how I've screwed it in there I just put my siding around it I decided and I put the siding up I'll just go around it I thought about putting the siding up first and then that but I just had to get this roof on so that was what I did plus it's been raining on me and I've been dry being under this so it's been pretty nice been pretty nice being able to uh, do that and I've got this window here that I found at a um, like a little antique type store and so I'm gonna put it right here right about in there and the front of the of, of this uh, I guess fort if you want to call it and that's where the door is going to be here I've supported out all the corners and it's pretty stable I mean it doesn't doesn't wobble I've got the windows in I just got little storm windows with those little things there and uh, I just screwed it in here along the edge on the outside so I figure my trim can go right up to this edge right here and we I gotta nail the all the boards down on the flooring but this gives you an idea of what the inside is gonna look like and uh, like I said the door is gonna be there it's gonna be a matching door to this to this it'll have the the storm windows on it and the screen <clears throat> so I figure in the summer we can open up the screen here over there and then the front door to get some circulation we could run a fan out that's what the roofing looks like in here I didn't put any uh, plywood I thought about putting plywood up there and then the sheet metal but I just kind of you know save some money and seems like it's going to be fine if it's not then I can do that later on but I just put these joists in right here and it's, it's plush right to here and then I brought it across and I set the, the boards on top of that and then I just closed it off and I was kind of lucky because my walls as, as you can see up there are just the thickness of a 2x4 going up so I've actually got it's basically a, a 1 foot and 3 inch angle on the roof so the water can uh, pour off and I just put like two screws on this end, two on the other end, and like two in the middle just to hold all that down. So this is where we're at right now. And I was talking to the, the kids earlier and we could almost run uh, one of those slack lines going down over there across the yard. And that like right that way, right over there. And that'd be a really cool spot to zip line right over there across the yard. 
So that might be something fun we add in the future. But uh, anyway, that's it. Just wanted to share that with you, where I am on this. And uh, I'll check in with you in a little while. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. Old green, you can see it behind me. It's been sitting for two months. It wouldn't start. My girlfriend Kathy went by the other house yesterday and got in it. Thing fired right up. So I went over there this morning and tried to start it. And it, and it started. It, it was really hard to start, but it started. I had some for sale signs on it. And someone wanted to buy it. And they came over to buy it. And the thing wouldn't start. And so uh, it's been sitting for ever since. And so, I, so we tried it. Kathy tried it the other day on a whim and it fired right up. I got in it this morning, it started. It didn't want to start, but it started. And so now I've got a truck to put the wood in for the tree house. So it's pretty cool. So I wanted to share old green with you here. There's the for sale signs. You can see the for sale signs right there. So anyway, I'm gonna head into Home Depot and get the siding and see what we can get for good price and I'll share that with you in a minute this right here would be pretty good it's pretty thick though isn't it it's uh let's see 856 for 16 feet that would be hard to even put in the truck I think so that's probably not good so it's basically it'd be about four dollars a section for the back so let's go in and see what else is in there. This looks pretty good right here. Uh, what do you think about this? It uh, looks like it's a little over a half an inch thick. And it's, it's a picket. $2.58 a piece. And it's treated so it shouldn't should shouldn't uh, should probably last for a long time eight, it's eight feet section so that's good this is definitely a possibility right here let's go in and see what else there is let's see what we can find oh god I just got to think I'm gonna need a ladder so I can get up to put that siding on the side of the house so here we are at the ladder section so I'm going to look through here. I, I kind of decided that I'm going to go with those uh, pressure treated pickets. They're eight feet and they're like two something a piece. And I'm just going to put that up on the siding. I'm just going to overlap them about a half an inch. Keep the water out. And we're going to go from there. So I'll check in. I'm going to show you what I've got. Uh, I'm going to load the truck up here in a minute. And uh, we'll see if full green starts. All right, take a look at that right there. I've got 60 eight foot pickets, $2 and 58 cents a piece. And I got a new ladder, which we needed for this and other jobs. And I've got a couple of, uh, see one by six treated 10 foot pieces that I want to use to install the window and to put one more board in the floor. Then I've got three two by fours to frame out the, the door. And so now I'm gonna go get the aluminum door from the other house and head on and get started. Well, I got uh, three sides up, got the front door up and got uh, one more side to do right over here which I'm starting on now and uh, let's go up and take a look and I'll show you what I've got so far it's been a long job I've had made probably a couple more trips to the Home Depot getting the the pickets the 10 foot or 8 foot uh, fence pickets that you can see there that's what they are that I put in the siding. I'm gonna run two of them up here to cover that where I've got the untreated wood. And here's the window that I installed. I got the window at a little antique shop down the street. 
and I installed the knob here and here's the door it's just the same thing it's the same wood that I used on the on the floor and here's the uh, fence pickets holding it together I had some on the outside but I took them off temporarily and I'm not so sure I'm even going to put them back on but I got a good it's good and flush when it closes as you can see here and uh, pardon the jerky camera movement I wasn't paying attention there so it closes just like that and here's the way that I made the I got a, I put a piece of 2 by 4 here this is pressure treated and then this little thing right here is pressure treated and I that's my our latch attachment right there and that's the inside of the of the knob and uh, and it closes it closes really good just like that and here's what it looks like on the inside so far there's the roof there I think I'm gonna put some panel either plywood or I saw it for some ten dollars they had like some faux wood kind of paneling at Home Depot I might put that up and then for the floor I was thinking about putting in some the little rubber squares that kind of fit together like for kids to play on I was thinking about maybe putting that down in here or maybe some indoor outdoor carpet uh, everything seems solid haven't had any it's been raining a little bit but haven't had any leaks or anything there's the way that I put the put that together for the for the door frame got uh, got that it's, it's real solid this door is super heavy so uh, I and what I did was that that screen door right there that old screen door it had a long hinge on it right here and then I just kind of re you know just kind of took it off of there and it's real solid I got it screwed in on this side and on this side and that's where we're at right now I'm gonna make a railing coming out here <clears throat> and then back at that same place where I got this window right here where I got this window I'm gonna get um, it's like an old rusted rail that has uh, like bars, you know, like bar rails. I'm going to run that across here. And I'm going to put pressure treated 2x4s to support that. And then I'm going to uh, may maybe put like a 2x6 across the top or a 1x6. Maybe even something like this right here. That um, it'll have be like kind of a nice little table. There's a view of the backyard. Kind of a nice little table to uh, to put down, to put out. So there's a little view of it. Hope you guys like the way it's coming along. And uh, I'll be back to show you the other side and the railing when I get it done. There. How's it going? Well, I've come quite a long way since I last checked in with you. Um, I've got the sides up, as you can see here. I'm going to rework these steps, but the sides are on. You can see how I did the corners there. And that's basically the way it's turned out. I overlapped the, the board so the rain can just run right off of there and uh, should be uh, waterproof. 
it's rained we've had a couple of good storms and haven't had any water get in so that's good so I do believe this is gonna work I got a little railing here that you can see that uh, I got at a little antique store it's an eight-foot rail I put that in and I'm constructing this out of just some treated boards that I'm gonna put the railings up here so this kind of gives you a view of what it looks like I put a little um, solar light right here it comes on at night and lights up the front right here which is pretty nice so let's go inside and I'll show you what it's like right here you can hear my voice change in here and there's the roof and the sides I got the window here I'm gonna paint it black and uh, can, the air is definitely coming through I've got the windows the screen open and so I think there'll be pretty good air circulation in here we can put a fan in that window and that will be nice and it could or either window I put a little hole right here and got a, a power strip so we can get power in here the kids can you know charge their devices as they need to I haven't completely finish this right here yet I'm gonna take uh, let me see if this light will help light it up no it's not bright enough a little light there is not very bright but what we can do is I'm gonna put uh, some like some paneling on some paneling along here so it'll help keep the bugs out and just clean these walls up we're gonna I'm gonna put some indoor outdoor carpet in here and then maybe a couple of beanbag chairs or something like that and I'm thinking I can maybe put some bars going across to these joists like from from this joist here to over there just kind of like a ridge line but just like a two by four going across and I can hang uh, the tar uh, hammock up in here I think we could there's probably a room for two hammocks in here and uh, so that'll be pretty neat you know, if the kids want to sleep out here in a hammock but it's not I don't know if it's quite big enough to put three in maybe if I'm real creative I could fit three in here so uh, this is the way it turned out I changed this door I took the aluminum door off and just made this one out of the treated wood and it works pretty good There she is guys basically done now we've got four chairs ordered that will be here uh, this week or three chairs that kind of fold out into a bed they, they fold up into a chair and they fold up into a bed or fold out so that'll be perfect for the kids let me take you upstairs take you up there and show you what I did on the floors how I finalized everything I did not scrape the windows yet but I did get some steps made right here I put those on backwards but got the indoor outdoor carpet on them and uh, 
seem to be pretty solid. Got solar light installed. It comes on at night and it's pretty cool. It uh, lights up the whole front here. Then we enter, got our hooks. We can hang lights on there. There's the window looking out into the yard. Kind of framed out the windows. Some detail there. Got a, uh, I'm gonna put one more board going across here, I think. But I'm not in any rush to do that. Kinda got some trim up around the, around the corners here. And uh, that's what it's like in here. Indoor outdoor carpet's pretty good. We've had some real big rain here the last couple of days and has not gotten wet at all in here. So that's good news. So I wanted to thank everybody for watching. And uh, coming up, coming up uh, in the next few weeks, I'm going to have uh, a review on a, a little quick camera review on to another camera I just got. And I'm going to do a tarp review and uh, I'm going to do a review on my new hammock setup for this year. So stay tuned for that. I want to thank you guys for subscribing and keeping in touch with my videos. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you soon. Happy trails.